What is going on, youtube Verse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another Top 5 on this glorious Top 5 Friday, and I'm so excited. We are almost done with the 1980s. We're talking the Top 5 albums of 1988 in this episode, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. At number 5... Vivid by Living Color. What a cool band that seemingly came out of nowhere. I remember seeing the video for Cult of Personality and just being like, oh my God, who are these guys with these cool like yarn things of different colors coming out of their hair and stuff and Vernon Reed just destroying the guitar on the guitar solo. Just incredible. And then, I mean, the whole record is great, though. You've got all these other songs that have these socially conscious statements like Desperate People and Open Letter to a Landlord. And, uh, you know, doing it in a way that's catchy and also really rocking. Corey Glover and the gang just really know how to turn it up a notch. Great rock band. And that's just at number five. So now at number four... Speaking of great rock bands, U2 with Rattle and Hum. What an amazing record and one that I think is very underrated. I think uh, it got a lot of criticism when it came out because it seemed like they were trying to cash in on the success of the Joshua Tree that came out one year earlier. Of course, this contains hits from that that are live versions, which are great. Uh, I really especially enjoy the I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For, which gives kind of more of a gospel take on it. Uh, you've also got some cool covers like Helter Skelter by the Beatles in a live setting, which is very cool. But uh, I think the, the standout tracks are the new songs that um, could have fit right in on the Joshua Tree in that vein of Americana, uh, you know, I, by way of Ireland with songs like Desire and Angel of Harlem. Uh, just really cool stuff that um, we often forget because we always think of the Joshua Tree and Octung Baby. But in between, there was Rattle and Hum and it was fantastic. So that's at number four. And now at number three... Fisherman's Blues by The Water Boys. Such a cool album that I just learned about about three weeks ago when I did my top five songs of 1988 list. And one of you commented this album, Andreas from Greece. Thank you for letting me in on this amazing album, which is like kind of like this Celtic uh, kind of sound, but in a more modern setting. It's almost like, it's hard to explain, but it's a little bit like, um, like Mumford and Sons if they existed in the 80s, uh, but with more uh, like fiddles and things of that nature, a, a bit more of like a, an old fashioned traditional leaning, but man, does it rock, especially the first two songs the title song, Fisherman's Blues, which is, uh, I, I love like the energy of, uh, in the performances, the, the lead vocalist, he does like these kind of yelps and things in between the uh, verses and the choruses. And it just, uh, has this uplifting vibe. Of course, the second song, is uh, kind of the polar opposite lyrically, we will not be lovers, but the same level of intensity. And it's just uh, like six plus minutes, but it doesn't let up at all. And uh, I almost think I like that song more. Of course, the whole album, it starts to um, get a little samey towards the end, but it really is a timeless sound and a great record that I hope to listen to a lot more since I'm new to it. So that's at number three. Now at number two, The Traveling Wilburys, Volume 1. Oh man, one of the greatest super groups of all time. George Harrison, Bob Dylan, Tom Petty, Roy Orbison, and Jeff Lynn. What a lineup and, you know, just incredible, even if it was just two of those guys. But, you know, uh, so many great songs on this thing. Of course, Handle With Care was the big single and for great reason, I think that's the best song on here. The closing track, The End of the Line, is also great. I really like Dylan's contribution, Congratulations. It's like a really fun, sarcastic song. Uh, congratulations for breaking my heart. So ridiculous, but it works. 
because you can tell these guys were just having fun together and uh, kind of leaving their bands behind and doing this this thing where they could just play these characters and uh, have a great time with it. So absolutely one of the best records of that year. So now at number one, The Gypsy Kings, all the way from Spain. This group of singers and guitarists uh, just changed the whole game for Latin music in the late 80s. Like, I don't remember really hearing stuff like that on the radio, but when the song Bomboleo hit, man, you could hear it almost everywhere uh, that you went, and you still hear it today in like commercials and, and movie coming attractions here and there. It's such a great song, and it has that timeless classic Spanish sound, like the flamenco vibe, and you hear the clapping thing that they do and the, and the way they play guitar. That, I mean, when you compare, uh, especially if you've ever seen a, a real flamenco show, uh, the guitar playing is just off the charts. It's like you want to compare them to like Jimi Hendrix because they do things so fast and so amazingly good that you're just like, oh my God, who are these people? And all the Gypsy Kings are that good. I mean, they are incredible. Every song on here, it's almost like a greatest hits. As a matter of fact, I think their greatest hits album mostly has the songs off of here, like Joe B, Joe Ba, Moria, their version of My Way, which is Ami Manera. Um, I'm probably pronouncing most of these wrong, but uh, man, just so many great songs. Bem Bem Maria, uh, which is so upbeat. Most of these songs are really like happy music. They lift up your spirits. And at the same time, some of them lyrically are like slit your wrist sad, but it's done in such a way. And oh my God, the vocals. I, I could go on and on about the Gypsy Kings, man. I just love this record. I think it's far and away the best album of 1988. If you have not heard it, do yourself a favor and check it out because uh, if you love music in general, you're going to love it. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What would your top five albums of 1988 be? And if you're so bold, leave me a top 10. There's so many great uh, albums that came out that year. You know, I left off like Guns N' Roses, Lies, and uh, so many others. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Top fives every Friday, album reviews, top 100s, and so much more. Thank you for watching, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.